name is Todd Tillman, and I am from Meridian, Mississippi. My name is Joanna Serenko. I am 18 years old, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Tate Brusa, and I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I auditioned for The Voice because, um, well, several reasons. One, because my wife really pressured me. Uh, I, I was not going to go to the open call. That's where I went. Uh, but second, because I'm uh, kind of older, and I just feel like it's time to try something new. And at my age and with a family like mine, you can't really just start from scratch. And so I figured I would just take a shot in the dark. <laughs> Uh, my hometown is Meridian, Mississippi. I wasn't born there, but I've lived there since I was just a kid, you know. Uh, and um, the people that are rooting for me back home would be my family, like first and foremost, my wife, and we have a ton of kids. And, uh, and so I know that they're rooting for me back home, and our church is rooting for me uh, back home. And what I left behind to get here, uh, I left behind the church. I pastor a church, so I had to leave some people in charge there, and I, I had to leave my family behind, but uh, honestly, I'm sort of hoping that, uh, and hopefully not against hope, uh, that this is just kind of like a, a worthwhile seed to sow. It's kind of uncomfortable now, but maybe it'll pay off in the end, you know. Okay, so when I did my blind audition, uh, early in the song, Nick and Kelly turned around. And so I just went a little nuts and I've apologized to all the people who have helped me along the way because I think I just went totally off plan. <laughs> because I lost, I didn't, you know, I was just really praying that one person would turn their chair, you know. So then Blake turned and then John Legend turned. And so like I'm a nobody from nowhere with no music career and I'm on like a world stage. And so it felt phenomenal. It's like, other than marrying my wife and having our children, you know, I really do think that's like right up there on top of the list of like euphoric feelings I've had in my life. If I won The Voice, first of all, God, I don't know. I can't imagine that far ahead. Right now I'm just like, please let me at least get stolen, you know, <laughs> in our battle. But oh my gosh, it would mean everything. I mean, I, it would change my whole life around, you know, and um, which I guess would be good in a way. I've done, I've done the same thing and lived the same life for a long And I love it. Let me just say, I want to be very clear with whatever airs. I love my life. I'm, I don't have any, like, complaints. But, man, it would, like, I don't know. It would change my whole life. You know? I wanted to audition for The Voice because I just graduated high school and I thought that it would be a great opportunity to see where it could take me before I uh, go off into college. So. My hometown is Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, my dad and stepmom live there. And um, yeah, they're all rooting for me. <laughs> so my singing journey started when I was probably around six years old. Um, I began singing and piano lessons. Uh, and then through that, I just kind of took lessons off and on. I started uh, doing theater in middle school. And um, once I got started in high school, I just kind of branched off into my own singer-songwriter realm and started playing gigs and shows and collaborating with other musicians. So. Um, I'm influenced by so many different styles, but I'd have to say that if I were to sum up my genre, it'd probably be R&B or soul, soul singer-songwriter kind of vibe. So. Yeah, um, the whole experience of the blind audition was so amazing. Um, I got a four-chair turn, and so I was able to have my pick of the judges, and um, it was really cool. I Everybody thought that I was gonna pick John Legend, and I thought I was gonna pick John Legend too, so kind of went into it with that mindset, but um, John and I had a conversation about who my influences are, and I felt really confident about picking him, but then Nick stood up and he was like, I would feel bad if I didn't try to stick my neck out and fight for you, so I just felt comfortable with that. I was like, you know what, Nick's an awesome choice too, so I, um, I chose Nick. I think Nick is a good fit for me because um, he is younger and he has the same kind of audience that I would want to have with my original music and I think that it would be really cool to collaborate with him and learn from him as far as singer-songwriting tips go, so I think that it would really be cool to work with him. Well, Nick has taught me a lot so far already. I think that when I've worked with him with my song, um, he's taught me a lot about just giving everything the emotional aspect of it. and. Um, kind of giving it my all in that aspect. Uh, he's really musical and he was able to kind of put my own original taste into things that I didn't originally have. It would mean so much to win The Voice. I think um, it would definitely give me a great 
self, sense of self and sense of self-confidence in what I want to do with my life. Um, it's kind of been difficult this year, especially just because I'm, I'm 18 and I had to focus on like, okay, I have to narrow down something that I'm going to do with my life when I go into college. Um, so having this opportunity would be amazing to, to just jumpstart in the direction that I really want to go in. I wanted to audition for The Voice because I just thought it was so cool that none of the appearance part mattered. It was all about your voice and I thought that was a really cool concept, so I had to try it out. For season 16, I got out here and then the teams filled up and so they invited me back for season 18 and we're here now and we made it, so. Yeah, well, I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah and all my family's there, all my best friends, my boys are there. Um, yeah, school I had to leave behind, but I'm doing some school here, you know. Man, um, so my singing journey kind of started when I was around two or three. I'd climb up on my piano and try to listen with my ear and play Clocks by Coldplay. You know that song? It's like, da -na -na -na. So I'd learn that when I was around two or three, and then Don't Stop Believing, I'd play on the piano by Journey, and then ever since then, I got a guitar when I was six or seven, and then started taking lessons. I hated them, but I stayed in them. No singing lessons or anything, but singing kind of just came along with that, playing instruments when I was little, and Music was always around in my house, so kind of just came naturally, I guess. So one, almost one year ago, I released my first single, and it's out everywhere, and it recently just hit 100,000 streams on Spotify, which is pretty cool to me. Um, but yeah, and then I released three songs with that scent, so I have four songs out, and then that's kind of opened up my, you know, opened up a lot of things for me, you know, kind of just inspired me to do this again, so. Well, I was super nervous, obviously, when I was going up to the blinds, walking out, and then I got up there, and I was singing, and I was pretty nervous. It was not my best, but I got to the very end, hit a big note, he turned around. The big, loud noise didn't happen, which I thought was going to happen, like the, you know, on TV that they do. That didn't happen, but he turned around, and then right after, Blake turned around, and then next thing you know, Nick's on stage singing, like, playing my guitar, and I'm singing, and we're, like, harmonizing, telling me how to sing it and stuff. And then I don't know where Blake is, and then out of nowhere, Blake walks out and he's holding this little puppy. He's like, Tate, if you don't pick me, we're gonna send the puppy back to the pound. And you know what they do with dogs at the pound? And I was like, oh my gosh. And the crowd was like, oh. But yeah, I had to go with Nick, because I don't know, I, my boys and Jonas Brothers, I just love them, so yeah. When I worked with Nick on stage, he was basically telling me how to sing the chorus a little better, because you know, he was a 16 year old and he was young in the industry trying to reach the higher notes as a singer and a musician too, so he was telling me how to do it. He was telling me to open up and stand a little more straight and open up and try to reach those higher notes. And I sang it twice through and it sounded a lot better because, you know, the nerves were out of me a little bit. And yeah, I don't know, but he, he helped me a lot. And then I went home and I worked on it. So I feel like this time it was a little better. Oh, when I worked with him on the battles too, uh, he had me do this thing where I go up to a wall or my hand and blow continuously into it to try to get my breath support better so I can not reach for those higher notes as much. And yeah, those are, I can already feel them helping, honestly. And those, that was just a week ago or so, but yeah. Where is the buzz? Where is the buzz? You said we used to be a single. Where is the buzz?